Hello, good morning everyone. I am Captain Christian here flying in my Cessna 208 in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. This airplane, as you can tell, is equipped with a G1000, the Garmin 1000 avionics. And uh, I still have a few minutes until my destination, so I will use this time to explain to you guys a little bit about the radios. I've seen so many questions and comments on the forums about how to use the radios or how to tune radios or how to look for frequencies of VORs or ILSs and things like that. So that's what I'm about to explain you in this short tutorial. So let me zoom in so we can take a better look at our EFIS, Electronic Flight Instrumentation System. and. Uh, I both screens, the left one is the primary flight display and the right one is the uh, multifunction display or navigation display and the, the frequencies are up here on the left side navigation frequencies on the right side communications frequencies and this is repeated in both screens so the frequency to the right is the active frequency or not to the right, let's say to the inboard frequency is the active frequency and the outboard frequency is the standby frequency and same in the communications radio so right now communications radio frequency number one or communication radio one is tuned to frequency 124.35 and radio number two is tuned to 124.85 and this one on the, on the outboard is the standby frequencies in the navigation radius, NAV1 is tuned to 110.5, same as NAV2. And I have in a standby for NAV1 113.9, same as for NAV2. So if I want to swap the standby frequency as active on radio number one, I press this swap button here. And now 113.9 is my active frequency on NAV1 and the standby is 110.5. So the frequency that really matters is the one which is the active frequency 113.9 and as you can tell there is nothing here means this is not a frequency of any nearby VOR we, we, we are not picking up any signal in this frequency in NAV radio number two we are picking up a signal from India Romeo Kilo uh, VOR now how do we change from radio NAV1 to NAV2 we just press here this knob and it will change back and forth from radio number one and number two how do we change the frequencies well we use the big knob and the small knob to change the frequencies and then we press here and that will ch transfer the frequency to the active window and here we'll, we will read the identification of the VOR if there is one so let's say I want to tune uh, VOR number one so we will switch to number one and we will press here to tune VOR number one and now 110.5 is VOR number one which is India Romeo Kilo the same applies for communications frequencies let's say I want to tune 123.4 so I will tune 123.4 here in the communication number one with the big and small knob and when I have the frequency that I want I will switch that as active so now I'm transmitting on 123.4 uh, and if I want to tune to tune 1 to 1 5 on, on communication radio 2 I will switch here to number 2 and I will I will go to 1 to 1 5 okay 1 to 1 1.5 and then I will make it active so now I have 1 to 3.4 in number 1, 1 to 1 1.5 in number 2 and I can transmit and listen in radio number 1 or I can transmit and listen in radio number 2 now I can transmit and listen in radio number 1 and I can also listen on radio number 2 so I'm now I'm listening on both radios but I am transmitting on radio number 1 only I can do the same thing here now I am only transmitting and listening on radio number two and now on radio number one okay so that's for the communications radio that's for the navigations radios how to tune the frequencies now 
how to look for the frequencies. So let's say you want to look for an ILS frequency. For that, we will have to look on the screen on the right, which is the multifunction display. And in the screen on the right, we are in the map screen. So if we go in the large knob, we go to the waypoints information, auxiliary pages, and nearest pages. So this goes between all these pages. Normally, it's in the map. So let's go ahead and go to nearest pages using the big knob. And now I have here the list of the near airports uh, listed from the closest one to the furthest one. So the closest one is this one, Oscar Mike Romeo Sierra. But this one does not have any frequency or approaches. It's, it's a small and controlled field. So how do I go to another airport where we press this button here to make the cursor active and then with the big knob we change to the different airports. So the second one, Oscar Mike Romeo Kilo, that's Russell Haima, and this one has some frequencies and has some approaches. So how do I go to the frequencies? I press here this key that says frequency and the cursor transfer to that uh, window there and then with the big knob again I will cycle through all the frequencies and here it is ILS for runway 34 so this airport has an ILS for runway 34 what's the frequency? well here it is the frequency 110.5 so how do I uh, transfer this frequency to my navigation frequency? I'll just press enter and will automatically go to standby and now how do I make it active? well we've done it already it's, 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 it happens to be the same frequency here so it's it's already active 110.5 and the identification is India Romeo Kilo so this happens to be the ILS for runway 34 at this Russell Haima airport okay now how and, and here are the approaches how do I look for VOR frequencies then we are in the nearest page but nearest airports how do I change that to nearest VORs well with the small knob we change and as you can see here the list VOR airports near airports near VORs near NDBs near intersections so let's go to nearest VORs and here is a, once again the list of the nearest VORs closest to us so we have this Romeo Alpha Victor Foxtrot, Juliet, Victor, etc., etc. Let's say I want to tune this one, Romeo Alpha Victor. Well, that's the frequency here. How do I tune that frequency? I press the frequency, the frequency button down here, and that activates the cursor in the frequency. I press Enter, and that transfer that frequency to the standby on my Nav One radio. So if I swap to the active. Now I have active 113.6, which is Romeo Alpha Victor, which is the same as this VOR. Now let's say I want to tune number two radio to Foxtrot Juliet Victor. Well, for that, first I have to select radio number two. Then I have to go to Foxtrot Juliet Victor. So I press the cursor here. I press it again, and the cursor will be displayed in my, in my list. I... Uh, go to f the one that I want, in this case Foxtrot uh, Juliet Victor, this is the frequency, I go to frequency, I go enter, and that transfer to the standby NAV2 radio. Now I swap to active, and now here it is, I have Romeo Alpha Victor active frequency for VOR number one, and Foxtrot Juliet Victor active frequency for the, the VOR number two. So that is how we look for frequencies in the screens, in the G1000 system at least. And now how do I display these VORs? Well, for that I will have to look at my primary flight display. So we go to PFD here, press this button here, and we have bearing 1 and bearing 2. So bearing 1, that gives me nav radio number 1, and Romeo Alpha Victor, here it is that's the that's my needle pointing towards the VOR right now looks like I am on uh, radial 352 of Romeo Alpha Victor and I'm at 6.1 DME 
How about radio number two? Well, for that we will use bearing number two. Press that, and uh, well, we'll, we'll have to press a second time here. That's uh, that's uh, one of the many bugs in the system that is they still have to to correct. Uh, bearing two should give us only nav two, not nav one. But anyway, so uh, we now have bearing two pointing towards the radio two, which is Fujeda Foxtrot Juliet Victor VOR. And here it is, is is pointing in that direction. Means we are in radial three three twenty three from Fujeda VOR at forty one or forty point eight nautical miles DME from that. Now if I want to navigate, let's say to Fujeda VOR, well I can turn my head in towards the double needle, which is VOR number two, which is Fujeda VOR. And I can also go back and press back here to leave this PFD menu and that's give me my normal display. So I will change my CDI right now is on GPS. I press here and go to VOR number one. Press again and go to VOR number two. And now I press cursor up here and uh, well, it, it should center. Well, again, another bug, but anyway. Uh, sorry, um, I'm 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 using radio two. This is the cursor for VOR number two. So let's press it here. Okay, there it is. So now it's centered, and I have my CDI, and I can if I press navigation. Let's let me turn this here. Okay. So even if I press nav here, I can let the system to automatically track this VOR for me. Uh, let's see well it's uh, a little bit exaggerated that uh, intercept angle because we were yeah we were not that far away I mean yeah well now it will go back and probably will overshoot we'll see yeah now it's turning back yeah a, li a little bit uh, exaggerated but anyway that's the way the system does does at least in the in this implementation of the flight simulator and there it is it's now basically tracking towards the VOR here on course 141 so that's it guys I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial about communication and navigation frequencies and how to look for ILS and VOR frequencies using the G1000 system thank you uh, I will appreciate any comments that you may have any questions any suggestions whatever please leave me in the comments below and like and subscribe thank you till next time